Happy New Year 2024! On January 4th, 2024, Rockton Group welcomed the new year once again with a series of customary events. RNN was there on the day. Before events got underway, a moment of silence was observed for the victims of the moment earthquake of silence, that had please. struck Western Japan a few days previously. Then, Mickey gave his New Year speech, where he shared his vision for Rock 10 Group in 2024 with employees. Now we have formed the strategic partnership uh, with OpenAI. So we would like to improve our marketing efficiency by 20%. So meaning that if you invest $1 million for advertisement, we can improve the uh, you know, return by 20% utilizing data and AI. The operation activities, 20% increase. Client productivity, like Rockton Asia Merchants, Rockton Travel Hotels, um, golf course, uh, even uh, maybe uh, our the uh, Rockton uh, corporate clients, they can improve the, uh, their operation uh, by 20%. So uh, triple 20 uh, is what we would like to uh, provide. What is most important is all the Rakutinians, uh need to really understand the uh, importance of AI and how to use it. So uh, in order to do that, uh, we are going to provide all the Rakutinians, uh the AI training uh, and, and education. Where do we want to be in 2030? That is one of the reasons we decided to re-engage in this very challenging uh, project for uh, the mobile. Not, it's just not the mobile service in Japan. Basically becoming mobile platform provider for entire world, which we can probably in the future build our other business on top of it. The journey, adventure uh, we are all in is so important. Uh, to uh, the country and to the world, uh, and I am very proud that we are walking this together. After the speech, Mickey and Rock 10 executives that gathered from around the world visited Atago Shrine. The shrine is near the original site where Rock 10 was founded, and visiting is an annual New Year tradition. Professor Tsudal Neely of Harvard Business School, who is also an outside director of Rockton Group, spoke at the New Year's seminar on the role of AI in boosting business productivity. We don't need to be data scientists to have a digital mindset. What we ultimately need is to understand the key topics that we need to fully learn about in order to operate with a digital mindset. We call this the 30% rule. The 30% rule is really about what non-native speakers of a language need to know in order to operate in a global environment. You don't need 12,000 words, which is what native speakers know, but you need 3,500 words. So essentially, a digital mindset says everyone needs that 30%. Because if we all have the common language, the common intentions, then we can develop in the AI environment. The day ended with a traditional Japanese kagami biraki. Attendees toasted to a great new year and enjoyed the special moment together. We asked Rock 10 executives about their ambitions for 2024. And 2024 is even more opportunity ahead of us. And I, I truly see Rakuten can be a business leader in the AI field. There's so many applications we can develop, leverage our data, leverage our domain knowledge, and put into an operation. You know, we are the organization that can make things happen. Our execution capability is amazing. Rakuten is truly unique, that we are in a very unique position to leverage the AI technology to benefit our customers, benefit the businesses, and do good things for the society. So I'm very excited to be uh, with you on this exciting journey. 
we continue to be laser sharp focused on delivering AI solutions across all Rakuten Group. We've done quite a bit of progress last year and you'll hear much more about it in this coming year, so very exciting. Uh, we're also working on a range of tools for our merchants and our creative marketing team so they can create really exciting promotions with just click of the button that are visually attractive and um, compliant with all the rules and regulations. We are promoting the concept of one insurance strategy uh, to provide all insurance services such as life, general and pet insurance seamlessly. And uh, to offer a seamless customer experience, uh, we think it is extremely important to leverage the power of data and AI. AI Nation for uh, Rakuten Mobile, we started actually last year. And um, the key focus area for 24 is we have to reduce our operational expenses by 20%. Considering that uh, the main focus is on the power efficiency, how can we reduce you know, uh, the power consumption of our sites, our data centers. So that's the main focus. Actually last month we started a new AI division within Rakuten Mobile, um, which is focused not just on network but all across Rakuten Mobile. Um, so they will focus on shop strategy, customer experience, even finance, HR, and network. Right. We also asked executives about their recommended tips for using AI. I can share with my, for my uh, personal uh, life, I'm personally very excited about the text-to-image technology because it really illustrates the power of AI. With the uh, new tools like DALI, Midjourney, uh, you know, stable diffusion models that you can access through many different platforms, uh, you can uh, basically turn your vision in your head into an actual you know, beautiful painting or a photograph. And uh, this is how I decorated my apartment recently, so I encourage everyone to try out. <laughs> Lots of people use it for coding and some people use it for ask general questions like I learned Japanese cuisine take a picture uh, of it and upload to ChatGPT and it can tell you you know what kind of cuisine it is and give you a recipe if you want to try it yourself or you can uh, use it to acquire any uh, knowledge like for me uh, I learned how data center operates uh, what's the electricity price, right? There's so many things you can you can learn from uh, uh, from AI tools. Go Rapid!